With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins. After highs today, warming into the mid-80s in the west to the mid-90s in the east. Off and on, thunderstorms are possible this late day through Friday as storms develop near a stalled front in the west and track east during the evening and overnight. A few storms could be strong to severe for today with small hail damaging winds to 60 and some localized flooding. Chances of severe weather increasing tomorrow with a slight risk from western and extreme southwest Nebraska to western Kansas. High school slightly to the mid-80s to around 90 for tomorrow through Monday as the high-pressure ridge slides off towards the east. With the cold front dropping southeast, Friday night is the most likely time for widespread thunderstorms. Total rainfall between now and early Sunday morning is expected to range between an inch and a half to three inches from western to southwest Nebraska and the northwest corner of Kansas, half inch to an inch and a half for central Nebraska and much of western Kansas, lighter amounts farther to the east. With the high-pressure ridge returning, the weekend is mostly dry before the heat returns for next week. The return of the heat verifies in the long-term forecast. Nebraska and Kansas temperatures for Sunday through the first three days of July are indicated to be warmer than normal. Nebraska rainfall expected to be near normal, while Kansas rainfall slightly below normal for Sunday through July 3rd. Key weather factors impacting the markets include temporary heat and dryness in the Corn Belt and improved rain for the northern plains and Canadian prairies. Relentless heat persists the rest of this week across Texas and nearby areas, leading to additional stress on livestock and summer crops. Yesterday, San Angelo, Texas tied an all-time record with a high of 111, a reading last hit on July 29th in 1960. Rio Grande Valley near the Texas-Mexico border had the nation's high yesterday of 117. A northeastward extension of the heat reaches portions of the central plains and the western and central corn belt. Significant rainfall is focused across the north central U.S. Five-day rainfall could reach one to three inches across the northwestern half of the plains. Much of the Midwest remains unfavorably dry with rain just clipping portions of the Ohio Valley and western corn belt. Midwest areas missing out on the rain are seeing stress increase for both corn and soybeans, but not all areas are dealing with the harsh conditions. The upcoming rain in the Midwest is forecast to only be a stopgap in areas with poorer conditions as better chances of rain move in for next week. The Canadian prairies this past weekend had heavy rain once again in parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan. Rains in the Canadian prairies become more isolated the rest of this week. Soil moisture is still low across much of the Canadian prairies, but recent rainfall has helped. In Brazil, colder temperatures this past weekend may have produced some spotty frost in Piranha, but nothing widespread. Southern Brazil is likely to see some rain tomorrow through Friday, favoring any immature corn and vegetative wheat. Corn harvest in central Brazil is starting to pick up with mostly favorable weather. With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.